Hello and welcome to another episode of the Information Lab. I'm Andy. And Grace here. Due to the safe distancing, we are taking this video separately in different meeting rooms despite being in the same office. So for this episode, unlike in previous weeks, we will not be discussing any hardware. Instead, we'll be going through something that you normally find in conventional software development and how you, as a PLC programmer, can incorporate it into your project development. I'll be going through the concept of version control, while Andy will go through Twinket multi-user. We'll be doing a special skit this week with a few members from the Becker family. Let's go! For most people, the term GitHub is probably associated with the messy computer stuff that you won't need or want to use. For others, it is known as that open source software that you can download and use for free. But what some of you might not be aware is Git, which is the software version that it hosts. What's version control then? Well, basically, let's say you're writing a program. You'll make changes to it to do something different from your initial code, which is also called the source code. Austin, your motion part finished already. You can pass me the program in the thumb drive. I need to add in my EIP program. And sometimes something goes wrong with your output, so you'll need to revert that change. Here you go. Thank you. Here's where version control comes in. You are able to track when and where changes are made, go back to the previous state, and work back up from there. Andy, I'm done with my part now. This should be the latest version. Oh, oh okay, thanks, thanks a lot. Really? Programs? Programs not? Really? Sometime later, you'll find that the program is ballooned in size and you're no longer working on it alone. You'll have multiple people working on it at the same time. Hey, Austin, where, where's your Kenji portion? Inside, lo? Inside? Wait, 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 guys. Okay, what, what version are we using now? My latest progress is in version 3. Mine is in 4, then. Mine is 5! Uh oh. Eh, Andy, pass to me. I okay. update for you again. Let's say they are working on the code while you have just finalized an update. Their code will not include your newest additions. Does that mean we have to redo again? Oh my god! Oh. And when they push their update, they have unknowingly wiped your program from existence. David, David, can you please extend the deadline of our project? Why are you guys taking so long to do the program? Because we used the wrong version of the program codes to update each of our parts. Don't you know we have a very tight timeline to do this? Have you even used the TwinCat multi-user to manage your program? Version control also enables users to resolve conflicts in this situation, either to approve your changes or undo them. Remarks can also be added for your fellow programmers so that they are made aware of exactly what changes has been made. What's this got to do with my letter programming, I ask? Well, with PLC moving forward towards PC-based control, it makes sense to bring some good practices for PC programming into PLC programming. When on site, control engineers usually don't have access to a source control system mostly due to a lack of network access. Also, the program version they have on hand might be different from the active version currently in the machine. Additionally, as mentioned, there's always the risk of wiping the previous program when updates are pushed. 
Twinkly and Naughty user aims to solve these problems by incorporating version control into the project itself. Available from Twinkly 3.1.4024 onwards, your multi-user enables users to work on the same PLC code without accidentally overwriting a colleague's work. By creating a repository with either a remote server or the PLC itself, users can pull and push changes, resolve conflicts, and review previous edits. Having a repository in the PLC also ensures access to the source control system. Multi-user source control functionality is based on Git. So while it is entirely possible to use other version control systems such as Azure DevOps alongside multi-user, it is essential that both functionalities are based on Git. Well, that's all the time we have for this week. We hope you've learned a lot about version control and best practices in TLC programming. In researching for this episode, we've also learned a lot about best programming practices. If you have any questions for us, you can comment down below or contact our sales at sales at backoff.com.sg. Until then, continue to take care even though we're starting to open up. Always wear your mask and see you soon. Always wear your mask and stay safe.